Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be looking at a question relating to visualizations inside of Power BI. And there's not much to set up for this question, so we're just going to jump right in. Let's go ahead and get started. The question says you have a Microsoft Power BI report. The size of the PBIX file is 550 megabytes. The report is accessed by using a app workspace in a shared capacity of PowerBI.com. The report uses an imported data set that contains one fact table. The fact table contains 12 million rows. The data set is scheduled to refresh twice a day at 8 and 1700. The report is a single page that contains 15 app source visuals and 10 default visuals. Users say that the report is slow to load the visuals when they access and interact with the report. You need to recommend a solution to improve the performance of the report. So as we start to look at this, we have to understand how these visualizations are going to interact. And so as we think about each of the visuals within inside of a report, they all interact with each other. So if you choose one filter on a slicer, it's going to affect all of the visualizations inside the report. And so it says here in the question that we have 15 app source visuals. So those are custom visuals from app source and 10 default visuals. So that's a total of 25 visuals in this report page. That is a lot of visuals in one page. And so this could be a combination of slicers so a slicer is a visual report filter, or it could be some other kind of visualization. So as we're thinking about these 25 visuals that all interact with each other, and we're going against 12 million rows in the fact table, that is a lot of calculating for Power BI. And so as we look at our answer choices, just understanding what the answer choice is alluding to is going to be key here. So option A says change any DAX measure to use an iterator function. So as we think about this option here, an iterator function is any X function. So that's going to be like sum X, min X, max X, count X. So any X function is an iterator function. Essentially what it does is it looks at a table it's a table expression and it is going to use row context so it's going to go row by row and it's going to run whatever function that we create on it and so whether that's the minimum or the sum or the count so an x function is an iterator function and essentially it just means that it's looking at a particular table and running that aggregation across it Option B says enable visual interactions. Well, by default, all of the visuals inside of a report page are going to interact with each other. So if you choose a slicer or you choose a metric inside of a visualization, it's going to filter all of the other visuals with inside of that report page by default. And so these are already enabled. And so we can go ahead and eliminate option B, enable visual interactions, because they're already enabled by default. They're all going to interact with each other. Option C says replace the default visuals with app source visuals. Now, the thing with app source is it's a third party application and these are different charts and graphs and slicers that you can bring into your Power BI report. It doesn't really matter the type of visualization, whether it's an app source visual or one of the default visuals, they're all going to interact in essentially the same way. As one object or one piece of information is chosen with inside the report, it's going to filter all the other visuals. So just by replacing default visuals with app source visuals, it's not going to improve the performance, which is the key here. It says that the report is slow to load the visuals. 
Just because a visualization is from app source doesn't mean it's going to load faster. So we can go ahead and eliminate option C. Option D says split the visuals onto multiple pages. Well, this is definitely an option for us because the more visuals that you have on a single report page, the slower it is to load because it has to filter every single visualization with inside of that report page. So the more visuals you have on a report page, the slower it's going to process because it has to filter every single visual with inside of that report page. So option D would be the correct answer to split those 25 visuals onto multiple pages, therefore improving the performance of the visuals being loaded. Well, I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.